One of the topics that we get questions about very frequently from athletes is why do we deload after a big PR? And the reason is in order to kind of maximally cause an adaptation, um, a big enough stress needs to be applied to knock the body out of homeostasis. And so when a PR is achieved, by definition, this is the most intense stress you've ever encountered in this regard, and it will require recovery resources that are kind of greater than an average session. And so Charlie Francis had a rule that if a PR happened, the session was over. And this tends to be a good policy, but a small drop off of around 2% can also be used. However, if a big PR is hit and our threshold tends to be three miles per hour or more, then the next high intensity session is not performed. And instead a deload is used over the course of the next micro cycle. This comes from a mix of kind of research and firsthand experience. More soreness than usual is often encountered with a new performance level like this. And the recovery curve tends to be a bit longer. Each time I've allowed myself or an athlete to kind of keep the next high session as planned, not only have no PRs occurred, but it often kind of results in an even greater need for a deload going forward. The essence of the high-low model is that high sessions are extremely sharp and stressful and that low days are kept low enough that they do not interfere with recovery and the they can kind of enhance recovery, all right? But a greater volume and frequency are not what throwers need necessarily, but rather greater intensity on their high days in order to kind of reach that new level. We have to push that ceiling higher, just kind of adding garbage volume isn't what we're after. So don't guilt yourself into doing more for the sake of doing more. Make sure you set yourself up to push the boundaries on your high days. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're interested in some guidance in your own career and some help getting to the next level, let us build your program for you. So the way this will work is we'll take you through an entire assessment process, going through your mobility and movement screening. Um, we'll take you through a mechanical analysis as well, based on about 60 points that we've built out um, to, to kind of decide where your greatest areas of opportunity are. And then we'll also go through a force velocity profile so we can help build out your strength and conditioning plan. Um, with this in mind, we'll build out an entire plan for you based around all of your kind of areas of need, weakness, and opportunity based on your time of year and working with your current school schedule if that becomes an issue. Um, you'll have access to your coach uh, every day with unlimited text and email support and a video library for kind of any issues that you have with the movements. Um, we'll also check in weekly um, to see how your throwing is going. Uh, and we will kind of guide you through the entire process. If you're interested in this, shoot us an email um, or kind of check out the, uh, the informational page on the website if you have any questions. Thanks.